at a time when uh, operation amrit pal is on in uh, full scale over the last two weeks in punjab the man in the middle of your screen he is a member of parliament but he swears by khalistan sangroor mp and shiromani akali dal amritsar chief simranjit singh man has made a shocking admission while giving an interview to a punjabi channel in which he was asked if he provides letter to people and helps them get asylum in west to which he accepted and replied that he takes about 35000 rupees to give asylum to west to those who are in distress this admission has uh, sparked a massive political controversy many legal experts have now opined that uh, this is a fit case for the government to take action against him we'll talk about that but let's first tell you what simranjit man has admitted in this interview man sahab ko ek letter aa ode na bande pakke ho jande ne ਇਹ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਕੀ ਇਸ ਚਾਈਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਹੋ ਲੈਟਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੈਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਮੁਸੀਬਤ ਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਚਿੱਠੀ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਹਾਂ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਪੱਕੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਵਿਚਾਰੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਕੁ ਬੰਦੇ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਪੱਕੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੰਗ ਰਹੇ ਪਰ ਇਹ 50 ਹਜ਼ਾਰ ਤਾਂ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹੁਣੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਫੀਸ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਫੀਸ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਚਲਾਉਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਅੱਛਾ ਹਾਂ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਫੰਡ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਲੈਨੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਲਈ ਹਾਂ ਬਸ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਫੀਸ ਲੈਨੇ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਪੱਕੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਬੰਦੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਤ ਮੁਤਾਬਕ ਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੱਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹ 30 ਲੱਖ ਰੁਪਏ ਖਰਚਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ 35000 ਦੇ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਨੂੰ 35000 ਰੁਪਏ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ 35000 ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੈਟਰ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਉੱਥੇ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਖਤਰਾ ਭਾਰਤ ਚ ਤਾਂ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਤੀਤੀ ਲੱਖ 40 40 ਲੱਖ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਇਹ ਜੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਵਿਰੋਧੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੇ ਜੇ ਐ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਮਾਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤਾਂ ਪੈਸੇ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਲੈਟਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਫਿਰ ਨਾ ਫਿਰ ਮੈਂ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਚਲਾਉਂਗਾ ਉਹ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਚਲਾਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਿਰੋਧੀ ਵੀ ਤਾਂ ਪੈਸੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਲਈ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹੀ ਐ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਲਈ ਫੰਡ ਆਓ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਉਹ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਖਾਤੇ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਫੰਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਲੰਗਰ ਹੋਣ ਸਕੇ ਇਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਲੰਗਰ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਥੋੜੀ ਹੈ ਸਵੇਰੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ 30 40 ਇੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਛੱਡਦੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦਾ ਲੰਗਰ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਮੇਰਾ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਦਾ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਹੈਸ ਗੋਟ ਇਟ ਕੰਟਰੋਵਰਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਥੈਟ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਮਾਨ ਹੈਸ ਸੈਡ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਫੈਕਟ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਮੈਨ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਆਫ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ he state an oath on the constitution of india and has uh, vowed to uphold india's samvidhan yet he has separatist tendencies that he does not hide now you would remember that this is not the first time that simranjit singh man is advocating for khalistan even in the past he said things to this effect that what's wrong in having this demand of a separate state so the tukde and trafficking truth is out in this interview and now the legal experts who have uh, spoken to times now are saying that the government must take action against simranjit singh man senior advocate aman lekhi has spoken exclusively to times now this is what he said oh definitely he's not in violation of law is in violation of laws and rather serious laws at that uh, he'll be uh, guilty of various offenses in the uapa including uh, raising of finances uh, aiding and abetting terrorist act harboring uh, terrorists including terrorists there are all penal provisions of the UAPA he'll be liable to various offenses in the IPC obstructing public servants uh, in this charge creating evidence uh, which may assist terrorist act uh, terrorist activities also uh, he's in also breach of his oath of office and because in breach of oath of office uh, he's liable in contempt of parliament because uh, as for the parliament privilege is concerned privilege belongs apart to individual members to the parliament of the body and because he is a member of parliament has taken oath in terms of schedule 3 and that oath precedes his assuming uh, a seat in parliament uh, this is unbecoming of a parliamentarian and affects adversely the dignity of the parliament too so he is liable also to proceedings of breach of privilege by parliament so there are a, a range of offenses which he is guilty and is liable to proceed against and can someone who has sworn or oath on constitution be allowed to perpetuate false information regarding india no whether you want the constitution at all or not perpetuating false information is uh, completely unacceptable 
and more so uh, people like man but uh, where people like man are concerned uh, they make capital out of these activities and the norms which normally regulate uh, appropriate behavior is lost to people like them and they seem to uh, publicize this deliberately criminal activity because uh, this is what gains gains them notoriety and it is notoriety on which they actually want want to flourish so uh, our talking about the illegality is completely irrelevant for people like him because uh, as far as illegality is concerned uh, that is a way of life for person like man so is this, so you maintain that this is a violation of oath this is a violation of the law this is a violation of the constitution this is a, 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 apart from an illegal act it's an immoral act it it is on every count unacceptable and uh, as far as he is concerned condemnable but as this is typically uh, man uh it is he has had a history of such activities and uh, are talking about it is not going to any way restrain because the agenda is nefarious and quite obviously anti indian so since he is charging for it is it an office of profit no no it's not a question of office of profit uh, office of profit is a distinct concept altogether uh that uh, uh, office of profits in fact contemplates an office so this is no office which he holds he is basically a parliamentarian uh, that uh, as a parliamentarian is not supposed to do this at all this is, as i already pointed out uh, this is a range of offenses which is uh, which is committed he is brazen about them he is open about them he is unconcerned about the consequences for them and uh, such people are truly dangerous and such people are wholly anti indian and uh, uh, any any condemnation any criticism uh, is less for a man like him